Greetings, lords and ladies and fellow dictators. Now, <laughs> as you may have noticed, something strange has happened. The thing is, there seems to have been an update yesterday, the March the 21st. The last time I recorded this game was on March 19th. Um, and, well, it seems that the patch that they released kind of uh, messed up the save games from the previous version. As such, this map is more or less... Increased education, yeah, we already knew that. This map is more or less now unplayable, so... But I still want to showcase the game for what it actually is, because it's really a fun game. But this this should not happen to you at all. Like, do keep in mind that, if I'm not mistaken, the release date is on the 29th of March, so in about a week... These are, uh, like, hopefully the last patches, at least that's what I read, uh, that it is being released uh, on the 29th. What we will do, though, is simply head to the main menu and we will start a new map. Probably the best idea right now. We'll still be on a random map. Uh, starting population, I don't know. I really don't know. We should have it on, like, 150, I guess. Let's do it a hundred since we were on like 250, so <laughs> let's make it at least a little bit fair. We'll go to World Wars, uh, which is where we left off. Everything else, size, medium, uh, it was actually large. Landmass, medium, let's leave that. Plateaus, uh, islands, few, main island, medium. I believe everything else was as it is, uh, or rather, as you see here. I believe those were the, apart from the money, the population, and the era, I think this, these were the settings that we played with. So, let's just jump into a, quote-unquote, new game. We, of course, won't have to build everything up from scratch. I mean, we will have to build everything up from scratch, but we have more money to work with in this case. I want to at least showcase the World Wars and at least the entrance into the Cold Wars as well. Alright, so, there we go. The map loading time took a little bit precious, of time. Presidente. Especially your time, as you are the busy leader of a nation, and not just a child, playing in a sandbox. <laughs> I see what you did there. As your ever subservient assistant, I took the freedom to prepare a humble draft of the Chihuahuacan constitution to save some of your precious time. You still need to sign it, though, maybe between the second breakfast and your pre-brunch nap. No pressure. No pressure indeed. Alright, so we get to repick everything. So, I believe last time we picked all citizens to be able to vote and militia. So we will be going with that right now as well. We're gonna pause and, uh... Oof. I know I said few islands, I didn't say two, but sure. Let's actually check what the situation is. The map, pollu no, not pollution, uh, resources, there we go. Alright, so we have Nickel right next to us. Wait, let me actually check, last time I wasn't sure. Uh, no, aluminium does not show, oil does show, uranium. Nope, still doesn't show. Maybe it shows in the Cold War. Not too, too sure. But let's see. All gold, iron, iron. Coal is right down there. Nickel. I mean, we do have a little bit of coal right there as well. Uh, plenty of nickel as well. Corn, sugar, cocoa, tobacco... Well, as expected, this area would be the best area to actually plant anything in. Though some crops are possible here as well, but I think we should actually, considering we are now in the World Wars era, we can actually have a power plant. Uh, and due to that, it would definitely be a good idea to start mining some coal. I'm just gonna do two coal mines, one next to the other. Should be fine like that. 
some roads, of course, to connect everything. Possibly all the way to us. I'm just not sure how to actually make the grid. Uh, pretty sure. Wait. Uh, what were the other nickel, gold? Uh huh. I mean, sure. I wouldn't say no to gold, nor to the nickel. Uh, do we do two or do we do one? Let's do two as well. Because why not? We do have the population and whatnot. There. We just, oh, I'm gonna turn it and maybe do the road like. Do a little swerve there and then down. Let's do double of all of these. Uh, like this, right? Yeah. Alright, so the road will go like this. There we go. A little bit of a swerve over there, but it'll do. Uh, what's the situation? One more time. Okay, that's far enough. That's far enough, which means that we can actually build a road with, uh, with no greater problems here. Uh, around the mountain. Is this straight? It is straight. Not sure if that one's straight, I think it is. There. We'll connect it like that. And of course, these will need some population to work in them. So, a couple of bunkhouses are definitely welcome there. Hmm. I didn't even make this road. Hoppala! It's not where I wanted it to go. I'll make it like that, like a little nook in there. Alright, that should be fine. Also, we can actually build an apartment now. Good quality residential building. Tenants must be well off or better. House well off or better. We won't really have any well off or better people just yet, I believe. Homeless citizens. Yeah, broken poor. Alright, you know what? I think I might actually do a little cut right here and do some plantations just to get us going. So that you guys don't have to watch me do all of that again. And I'll be back in just a jiffy. Alright everyone, welcome back. So I built up the place a little bit, or rather placed the blueprints for a few things. These are teams. Uh, so those are the mines that you, uh, we already saw, the bunkhouses, the teamsters that are gonna be uh, bringing all of that stuff to our main town. Uh, over here I once again built, well, basically every sort of plantation. I believe that with the positioning that they're in, they will all be affecting each other with the multicultural bonus, so that is a very big yay. These four are Teamsters offices, considering how far they are from the main, uh, how far the plantations are from the main, um, shall we say, main town. Uh, main center, let's put it like that. Uh, I decided to put down four and of course they are going to s Eventually be upgraded to make room for more workers because the plantations once they're actually filled up They will have quite a few uh, Workers in there now. I'm actually just considering should we make a few more bunkhouses like behind here Make this like the living quarter living area uh, Do we think the AI is actually smart enough to be sent to send people from here from here all the way to these plantations Hopefully so we will see um I of course put down an additional uh, construction office, especially considering how much uh, work there is to be done as far as building goes as you can see we are already down to 40,000 so uh, that's gonna that's it's gonna hurt us that we had to rebuild the whole thing from scratch uh, with not much money to <clears throat> speak of. Now, I did also put down a pirate cove. The reason for that is because we are going to need a lot of population to actually work all of these things, to actually get an industry going. And as such, the uh, rescue raids are very, very useful in that... Um, 
in that regard. Of course, we also don't have ranches, but we'll focus on the ranches once the plantations and the mines and whatnot actually get going and start making us some money. Uh, let's actually do speed two. Let's see, so first the construction office. All right, we'll work on that then. Let's go to speed four. Uh, it's gonna take a while to build everything, I believe. We also put down an embassy, right? I put down an embassy so that we can start, um, so that we can start uh, the alliance missions because that is how you proceed through these uh, through this age. Let me see. Okay, so we did get a little bit of money, four additional people. I'm not sure how we got six. Then probably birth births. Uh, as you can see, we can actually choose whether we want allies or axis in the actual embassy. Depending on which one we choose, that one is going to be giving us missions to proceed through the World War era. And the same thing happens in the Cold War era as well. You basically put um, either the Eastern powers or the Western powers. Uh, into the embassy and do their missions. Once the missions are done, you proceed to the next stage of the of the game, the next era. All right, so there are plenty of people there, plenty of workers already here. Excellent. Uh, do we need upgrades? Increases efficiency by 15. I mean, uh, we're kind of reluctant on using money but what we will do should we do rescue many or rescue any hmm, probably for now for starters rescue many would be the better idea and as you can see we can actually just press shift and uh, shift and left click and they're just gonna keep redoing this raid over and over of course once they actually get to the uh, raiding points uh, needed for that I'm actually thinking, do we make a couple of ranches like over there, or should this be like a? Um... Let's face it, it's better to be one of the allies than one of the axis. You get to be an ally instead of, well, an axe. But axe is good. <laughs> and you can chum up with the marginally less awful side in this petty global squabble. Best not to question why, I find. Every sacrifice our brave boys make brings it closer to an end. Indeed, fulfill import trade with allies. He wants me to import, but at least he'll give me 10 immigrants, so that's good. I'm actually... Mm, I'm actually a little bit skeptical. Would we? Do we want the money or do we want the immigrants? Oh, we'll see as we go. Open trade screen, let me see. Yeah, we only also only have one... Available trade uh, uh, license. Where's the allies? Coffee, cotton. That's all the allies would import here. So coffee or cotton, which one do we go for? Both are zero, uh, zero above standard, so that's good because that means we don't pay anything additional. Green is good, red is bad. That's always the situation. Um... Category, raw resources, raw resources as well. I mean, we're gonna be making both of them, but just in order to do this mission... I don't know, let's let, let's do the coffee. Sure, we'll do the coffee. Uh, politics, what's the situation? Our relation with the Allies and the Axis is about the same. The Allies actually like us a little bit more just because we just accepted a trade they with call them. call me the Broker. I guess I had another name once. But you know what names are good for? They're good for getting you arrested, Presidente. Well, that's not my game. My game would be business. Which business? Hey, what have you got? I don't believe that I actually opened this broker uh, window in the last um, in the last video. But uh, but let's go. Let's talk real real politique, presidente. And by that I mean how we make money before your people rise up and dispo depose you. Or not, but let's be honest, we're both here for our Swiss bank accounts. And in the best case scenario, also not get caught, that is true. And that the deals I'll be offering are in any way don't... Not that the deals I'll be offering are in any way dubious. It'll usually be obvious just how illegal they are. I came to see you as soon as I found these were available, Presidente. So right now we have... So right now we have zero Swiss bank assets, but you can actually get assets by doing missions for this guy, like he ha he does have requests. 
Um, and also you can actually exchange actual money for uh, the Swiss bank account assets, I believe. And then you can buy stuff, like you can actually increase your standing, you can get uh, random blueprints. Now, these things change, always. That is why you can actually also buy uh, additional slots, so that more things become available to you. And like I said, these do reset. I'm not they sure if they reset the every broker. single time. They don't reset every single time, name, right? But you um, know what names are good for? You can't... They're good for getting you arrested, President. Didn't eh? we already... Oh, right. I didn't click. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Um... But yeah, you can also refresh the list to get something else. Stimulate trade, generates a new trade route offer. Uh, image campaign, boost your support by increasing the personal experience of all tropicans and whatnot. You can actually do some pretty useful things here. Um, let's see how well we do, though. Are we getting any... What is this? Oh, the coffee is already here. Excellent. All right, so... Not bad hmm. all. Almost worthy of an Englishman, I'd say. Although, let's not get carried away. Indeed, let's not. Do we go for the immigrants? Do we go for the money? I think we go for the money because we're uh, we're gonna need the money early on, is especially. Presidente. Yes. The workers have a request. Uh huh. They wish not to work. That's not gonna work. That is impossible. So they also have a backup request. Build bus garage. Build bus stop. I mean, I'll accept, not the gonna say... The protocol reminds all citizens to be vigilant, eat sparingly, <laughs> and buy war bonds. Victory depends upon the size of the palace treasury. Does it? I mean, yeah, of course it does. Quick, Presidente. Yeah? We must choose a side in this terrible war before it ends. It is almost certain to be very short. <laughs> Read State of Alliance. Form an alliance with either the Allies or the Axis by having them present in an embassy. There we go. Having cordial relations with them and asking for or being offered an alliance demand. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant about actually inviting either one in just just yet before we actually get um, some stuff going. Judgment is always impeccable. Decrease the unemployment rate. I know, I know, I know. The unemployment rate right now is abysmal. Uh, and people aren't exactly happy about it, of course. All the bunk houses are already filled up. Nothing else, at least the, the good part is that uh, um, everything's filled with workers. I'm just wondering how soon ish. The builders are actually gonna start working on those plantations, otherwise we're gonna have to be exporting the coal and whatnot. Um, banana, cotton, cotton, uh, cotton, gold, meat, pineapple, sugar, tobacco. I <laughs> it pains me to say, but I think we're gonna have to do this. We're actually gonna be ha gonna have to export some gold. And to the axes of all people. The... Well, yeah, but let's try and keep our standing with both of them kind of on the same level, shall we say. Our relation with the Allies is still better despite everything. We're not going to be inviting any anyone these in. Offers look good to you? House, Peter Colony... Strictly legitimate. House unlocks the house that would otherwise cost 500 knowledge to research. I mean, we don't even have a library yet. Speaking of which, that's probably a good thing to build as well, huh? Um, let me see, where, uh, is that under Lux? No, that's under government, right? No. Wait a minute, where's the, where is the library? Residential industry, no. Entertainment, definitely not. Who goes to the library for entertainment? There we go, media and education. Aha! Alright, so library, uh, let's put it right down there, I think. We should also do a high school, but honestly, with the money we have right now, we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh, the opposition is pretty great. Ooh, there are quite a few things that we're still gonna have to fix. Alright, Teamsters offices are being built. Our construction workers are... Uh, are being good. They're being good. They're actually constructing this stuff. Uh, considering how quickly those bunk houses got filled up, and I already see a shack right there. Let's actually make some more bunk houses over there. I can see a shack over there as well. 
However, I am hoping that these guys are actually going straight for... Yes, they are. To the plantations. Thank you very much. Let's get those plantations going. Uh, bus stops. That would be a good idea as well. Zero people arrived. Huh. Well, at least we got some money. What's the situation over here? Are we getting raid points? Are we not getting raid points? It would seem we are, but... Oh, they're already on their way to rescue uh, some people. Nice. Good, 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 good. Well, honestly, we do have plenty of homeless citizens, plenty of unemployed citizens, but the more Making citizens we have... Is good, isn't it? That's why shellfish. they call them goods. Because it's good to sell things. Correct. You are not wrong, sir. I will accept this. However, it's gonna be a while before I can actually finish it. Let me just check, uh, or rather, we check that on the overlays. Let me just pause for a moment. Livestock... Uh, no? Is it under resources? Fish. There we go. Fish. Uh, huh. Alright, so there are some fish over there. So if we actually make a fishery maybe over th in this area, that would actually produce some fish. Which would not be bad. Teamster sport? No. Uh, food and resources. Fisherman's Wharf. There we go. We can construct it right there. That is an additional industry for us, which is good. We might be doing a little bit too much too quickly, though. We're getting a little bit low on that sweet, sweet cash. Let me see, where can I actually build this? Ah, that'll do. Alright. Plus, we actually need to upgrade um, the Fisherman's Wharf, right? To Yeah, Fishing Dredge, there we go. But we can't do that just yet. But once we have, oh, do have the fishing dredge, what is it called again? Fishing dredge? Yeah, fishing dredge. Then they'll actually be producing some shellfish. And that'll count towards that. Alright. So play. Excellent. Uh, shacks are over here. The newest threat raining. Need your help, President. What? It's all gone pear-shaped. And we need a steady hand on the tiller. Sure, I'll buy one and let me see. They want an import, so canned goods. Oh, hey, it's actually good for me. Cold cocoa coffee. Which ones do we want? Nickel, even. Which ones do we go for? Coal, cocoa, coffee, cloth. Mm, I say coal, actually. Sure, we'll sign that contract there. Let's get some coal here. The plantations are immediately full with people. That's excellent. A protest has started. Excuse me? What do you want? Protesters. Reason. Fun happiness. Ah, I see. You guys want some... Uh... Nice weather. Alright, negotiate. El Presidente, people are angry. Not at you, of course, but at what they have become. Promise to raise fun happiness by eight within the next two years. Protesters will remember this. The closest military squad. Yeah, we don't have any military squads yet, but all right. We'll Your supreme leadership skill have an average fun happiness. All right, so we do need to increase the fun happiness, which means that wherever there are living quarters, like here, for instance, we do need some... Uh, some tavern and what a tavern for instance that's one way to increase the happiness the fun aspect of everything sure we'll buy a circus as well where's the entrance i think that's the entrance all right let's go with that this is a living area so let's put it down there i think that's it as far as living quarters go right we oh right these guys uh-huh uh, do we make a restaurant as well? Don't have the money. Let's just make another tavern for now. Like, right there-ish. That should work. There we go. We're actually making money. That's good. I like that. Expected revenue. Excellent. The Teamsters are the working. Again, Build weapons no, factory. Sure, I'll accept, but <laughs> there's a lot of missions we can't really do just yet. What is that? Pirate ship. Aha! They're bringing back some more population for us. That is very, very good. 
Alright, people are instantly moving into these places, which is good. Alright, so yeah, I believe that some additional bunkhouses will be required. Should we do... Let me make a road like that. Connect it if I can. Is What's preventing me? Are you telling me that tree is preventing me, or is the mountain preventing me? I'm actually unsure. But sure, let's go around. Like that. Let's actually make a few more bunkhouses, because we are going to need to put these people into some living quarters. Raid complete. Rescue. Thank you very much. Okay. Population going up. Coal. Alright, so the Not imports are in. All Let's take the money. Uh, open raid. Let me see. Do we keep doing the many or do we... Let, let's do the any. For now. Let's change that a little bit. Fires raging in Tropico. No! We don't have public services yet. We don't have a fire station yet. Nine. Uh, do I just position it right there? It'll be the fastest, right? Oh, good god. Alright. And I'll even quick build it to make sure that... Come on. Somebody? No? No workers? Our coal mine is gonna be... Wait, no. What's actually burning? Oh, our shack is burning! There we go. We have a fireman. Building destroyed. Shack. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, suddenly we have four. <laughs> Alright, well, you guys do what you're supposed to do. And we're out of money. When's the next freighter? There it is. What are we making? 11,000. That is wonderful. And we just exported gold as well. Excellent. Research. We can do research. Right, we have a... Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Free housing, employee of the month, church, child allowances, advanced boat services, boats, freighters, tourist ships, and cargo ships are 5% faster. I mean, does that affect the fishermen's? Increases the upkeep of teamster sport, tourist sports, and docks. Oh, the upkeep right now would actually hurt us. Um, Clinic work modes. Sure, let's do that. Trade. Wait, pause. I said pause. And now I can see what we actually had in it. Thank you, Penultimal. I wanted to check what we actually were exporting the most of so that I could make a good trade agreement. Or at a trade. Um, what is it called? Trade export agree agree trade agreement. Let's Airplanes call it that. Have revolutionized warfare, yet Tropico still has no air force. An official palace statement says, "Learn to fly one, then we will get planes." Sure, that sounds logical, right? Medium rebel threat. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Overall happiness, fun. It is the fun that they are not happy with. Alright, well, we have a circus over here. Is that burning? Good god, it looked like it was burning for a moment. Um, The tavern's gonna be constructed over there. Let's see if we can get that up with just this. Pretty sure it's not gonna be enough, we're gonna have to do more, but... For now... On the other side, we do have some homelessness still. Broke, poor, and yeah, there's plenty of those. We do still have vacant jobs, so you can get a job and not be poor anymore. Or broke, for that matter. Mm, vacant homes, we do have one about all... Alright, well, honestly, everybody can get a job, everybody can work. Everyone has to do their bit for the war effort, all sports. I don't care if... Alright, so they want us to add them to the embassy now. Really? Only 4,000 is what you brought me? Thank you for the 4 and 8. That's gonna help us. 
There we go. Can I... Let's ask for financial aid again. Good show. There we Not go. All right, we got some more money. Almost worthy of an Englishman, I'd say. Do we go for Don't the 5,000... Uh, 5,000 usual dollars, or do we go for 4,000 in the... Um, in the D -D 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 Swiss bank account? I say we go for 5,000 like that. Fun happiness is raising, just not fast enough, I feel. There is a circus over there, but let's... Let's... Let's be quote-unquote safe and make a tavern. Like, right there. There's still shacks over here. They seriously, instead of going into the bunkhouses over there, they're making... Their own homes over here. this. We'll do it like this. Put a bunk house down there and a perhaps a country home for some well-off people. And another bunk house on this side. And just to make sure that people don't get cranky, let's put a tavern down there. Unemployed citizens only four. That's good. Fun is still something we have to take care of, but we're taking care of it. We're slowly taking care of it. That's a much better expected revenue. There we go. Alright, so we can actually see now. We're exporting quite a lot of cotton, coal, pineapples, uh, and bananas. Bananas, there we go. And cotton. Bananas, 20%. Cotton, 10%. But... Where do we earn more bananas, I think? Sure, let's sign that. Oh, there's another one we can do. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, in that case, let's do cotton with the axis. Just in order to keep it eh, about the same. Let's not just do business with one side so that we don't get invaded. Invasion is a real threat. And it is a threat I am not too fond of thinking about. We only have one fisherman, really? That kind of sucks. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll do the fishing dredge so that we start producing some shellfish. Bus garage. Garage. Gar ga that. Where do we actually want to put it, though? So we're in the center and then just have a few bus stops on the way? Politics 9465. Alright, that's that's relatively good. It's relatively good. Finish constructing that, please. Oh yeah, cotton's a very big commodity. You know what? Raid complete, rescue, uh-huh. So we got more people even. I was actually just thinking. Do we go for one more trade license? It's just 250, it's not that bad. And we can actually do... Oh wait, these are smugglers. It's gonna decrease both of them. Ah, god. Nickel... Where, where's the tobacco, by the way? Is there a pineapple one? There's a sugar one. Do we do a larger one? To get an additional bonus? Oh, it's gonna take a while, so let's just go with the 2 a 2 800 Oh, we do have coffee as well. And coffee is a good commodity to sell. Sure, let's sign that one. It's more than 100, alright. But we can't really... How often can we... In 56 months, good god, okay, so we can only ask for financial aid every five years. What's the support like? 35% opposition. And just out of curiosity, how many people are quote-unquote special citizens? Faction leader, rebel. Let me be. Let me be. Fine, I'll let you be. I like how that's full, but that only requires four people, so I have no idea who else is living there, actually. Mm. 
Seriously, what is your job? Uneducated, broke, workplace, retired, home shack. Good God, okay, there's no helping you, I guess. If you have no family to actually take care of you. It sounds depressing as hell, but I mean, it's true. All right, we're on 17 already. There we go. Those slips might sink ships, so tighten your lips with a tropical made spanner. Damn. Let me add to your infinite wisdom. Build residential buildings. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're building, we're building one right there, and there's a country home being built over there as well. So, homeless citizens. Let me see. Aha, uh -huh, well off. There we go. Well, we're making a well off right now. But yeah, we do need more residential areas. And also some more jobs, I suppose. Because there's so many shacks over here. I don't understand why over there, though. Do we make some ranches or do we just go and... Uh, I mean, we do have the money right now, so we might as well go for a high school. I think that's an entrance, right? Or rather, the entrance. Let's see, what else can we actually do? Tourism, no. Public services, let me see. Oh, we don't have any chapels or anything like that either. But I feel that a fire station would be a very good idea to have in, like, an industrial area. So we'll do one right over there. Uh, we can, of course, also do a, com do a commando garrison, but it's gonna be like 12,000, which we do not have right now. I don't really want to be doing that. Where's our sugar plantation? Is that the sugar? Pineapple. Tobacco. Banana. Cotton. Wait a minute, where's the sugar? There's the sugar. Alright, so if I position... I'm just thinking about making one more sugar plantation somewhere. Because um, sugar is always good to have for multiple things. For one thing, you can make rum. Rum distillery. And then, then the, another thing is chocolate. You make sugar and... Uh, I mean, you produce chocolate through sugar and cocoa. Uh, also a weapons factory. Pro process steel and nickel to produce weapons. Yeah, but we first need steel. Process coal and iron. Uh, let's remind me where exactly is the iron? There it is. It's actually right on the way. I wouldn't mind building like an iron mine right over there. Maybe even two. Do I do two? I'll do two. Because why not? There. Some iron mines. I mean, we are producing coal from over here, right? So we might as well also just make a steel mill. But good god, that's so expensive. Let's wait with that one. Broker, you got anything for me? Look good to you? I mean, that They're would be all good, I guess. Legitimate. Sold. Convincing talk. Adds an option to active demands, allowing you to successfully complete them. Uh, yeah, how's the shellfish production? Still only one guy over here. Can't say I appreciate that. Six steel mill. Processes either wool or cotton to produce cloth. Emits pollution. We do have plenty of cotton and we are... Exporting a lot of it. You know what? We're gonna make like a little... There, there are no resources here, right? No. Any animals that we can... I mean, we could, of course, breed quite a lot of these different animals here, except for pigs, apparently. But we can do that over here as well, should we choose to do that. I'm just thinking we make, like, an, um, a little industry area right here. How much space does, like, one of these industries, like a textile mill, for instance, how much space would that take? Good God, it's even more expensive than the steel mill. Ooh. One thing we don't have that d makes easy money, really, is coconuts. A coconut harvester. Really? There's no places that we can actually make good coconuts? I mean, gather good coconuts closer to the actual... Yuck. This is the closest to good that we can do. 
Alright, so we're not gonna be gathering any coconuts. Got it. But coconuts can be canned, I think. Cannery. Either pineapples or fish. No, only pineapples or fish. Alright, never mind. So we don't really need coconuts. <laughs> Is what we have come to. 20,000. Alright, so he's just leaving. Plenty of stuff being put in there. Coal, nickel. I kind of don't want to expo export coal, though. Really. Loyal Task completed. Of course. Fun happiness. There we go. Already on 20. Support will hopefully go up once we do that. I mean, once we finish that. Superpower Alliance. I mean, we could do an alliance immediately. Requires relations 81. We are on 100, so that would be no problem whatsoever to do. Research. We have research points, but nothing to do. Martial law. What does that do? Cancels and prevents scheduled elections, elections while active. Decreases liberty by 35. Increases the chance of citizens becoming rebels by 50%. Decreases the tourist rating by minus 30. Increases military standing by 30. <laughs> but decreases the standing with all other factions by 15. Aha. Uh -huh. Wealth tax. You gain 5% for every rich or filthy rich adult each month. Decreases capitalist standing by 20. Increases communist standing. I like that. Let's go with that one. I'm President, always for fair taxes. <laughs> Do you not have an underling to throw oddly shaped objects at? Stay still, Wolfgang! Do not move! Wolfgang! Yeah! Oddly shaped. I'm trying to figure out if this is a um, a reference to something. Oddly shaped odd objects. I don't recall the Germans throwing anything at their underlings, actually. Fulfill export trade route with the Axis. I'm absolutely fine with that, but let's first finish these. 15,000, alright, so we are having a net gain, I believe. There we go! Happiness completed! Did the... but the, wait, the support didn't go up. What the hell? People! I gave you what you wanted! What are you guys doing currently? Rescuing any... All right, Homeless! Mm-hmm. Poor... How are you... But we have vacant homes. Well off. Where are you well off? Uh, bunkhouse. Where? Focus. Wait, but you're not... Why are you two... Oh, you're in bunkhouses! That's the problem! That's what you're complaining about, I see. There are no... Aha! Uh -huh. No country houses over there. I mean, I can make one right over there, and I can make another one right next to it as well. They can look at each other. There, so the well-off people will have a home there. Who else? vacant homes. There are plenty of vacant homes, but sure, let's check. What are you guys? Uh, on way to shack. Workplace. Mine. Construction office. Let me be. Hey, may I help you? See? Shack. Focus building. You live over there. Shh. Oh, God. Um... Sure, I'll make two more bunk houses right over there. Maybe another one here. Will that work? And we can actually connect this stuff via road. I mean, that's gonna be an interesting road right there. But it's gonna make it a pain to actually build anything, so let's do it like this. And we can actually put two more country houses in between that. There. Right, I completely forgot. We should be making apartments as well, huh? Broker, you got anything for me? Still the same, alright. There's still a shack over here. What are you doing? Teamster's office. In there. And you don't have a... Really? You're still living in a shack. That's surprising to me. Look, I'll make a bunkhouse right there for you. Are all the Teamsters' offices full? This one's actually still has one empty spot. Speaking of Teamsters' offices, I could upgrade them. But the upgrades cost 2,500 each, so let's not do that just, just yet. 
right, so we did get additional population, plus the pirate ship is coming back, so that's gonna be additional population again. Homeless citizens. So many vacant homes! Oh, people are actually becoming well off. Home country. How are you? Wait a minute. How are you homeless and you live in a country house? I am sorry. Not today, please. Not today. That confuses me. Country house. Country house. What if I just make? And they're all around this area. What if I just make an apartment building then? Just. Poof, right there. Raid complete! Rescue! Thank you very much! Alright, you know what I'm actually gonna do right now? Considering our money situation, let's go on some treasure hunts. Now, the treasure hunt, it can randomly give you some things. Either they give you some available blueprint, they give you an available regime tool, or they give you money. Or additional raid points, those are always nice. Uh, all right, we can also go on a heist. I completely forgot about that, but let's let's actually focus on the economy right now We do have to get into the red Is this actually I mean supposedly there are four construction workers there, but nobody's actually constructing So can somebody construct please? There we go construction 14,000 that's not a lot. I was kind of hoping for more clock and pineapple iron Oh, the workers here do need some shacks, or other bunk houses like that. Yeah, they're living in <laughs> shacks and they're homeless and whatnot. All right, um, must be at least poor. It means decreases crime safety around. That's, that's never good, but mm, maybe we can make some more bunk, bunk houses, perhaps. Can I actually make a road that goes... Yes, I can. Excellent. And I will make some more bunk houses right there. Alright, so these guys should be covered as far as the... Um, as far as the mines go. Plus, we'll actually make a Teamster's office there, just to make the transport of the iron faster. There we go! A bunkhouse already finished and already full! Woohoo! Damn. Still homeless citizens. Where do you Hola. actually live? Just out of curiosity. It says you live in a country house, so why are you listed as homeless? So many vacant homes. And nobody's unemployed, so that's good. That's good. Let me see. Weapons factory, bus garage. Whoa. Oh, so we oh we already had an export with the axes. All right, that's fine. That's good actually. All right, so we did the cotton, we did the gold. What else? What, what do we want now? The task is done. Yes. You ask how much you are to be paid. Two thousand. I'll take the money. Sugar, nickel. So we're... Fire is raging. Wait, what? Okay, we do have firemen on the job. Victory, what is that? The attackers have been defeated. There were gorillas? Really now? You might actually want the commando garrison. They fight gorillas. What's the situation with the gorillas, actually? Special citizens. There's one rebel. Alright, so it's actually lowering. Opposition is only 28%. Next election is in four years. So in two years, we're expected, or rather will be expected to make a speech. And I believe that's gonna be the first speech of this Let's Play, so... Nice! Uh, trade, let me see. Um... I mean, we're still definitely doing a lot of cotton and sugar. Rum, steel, tobacco. You know what? Let's do the sugar. What are we currently doing? Banana coffee. We might want to do something with the axes just to keep them happy. Er, happier. Let's do cotton. Sign contract, there we go. Uh, okay, this can go away now, please. 
Broker. I came to see you as soon as I found these were available, Presidente. What do you think? Uh, but I still don't have any money. There we go, 98 and 90. We're, we're doing good doing the neutral thing. We're being a good Sweden. <laughs> Exporting to everyone equally. Um, decreases the risk of this building catching fire. That would actually be very nice, but I can't really do the upgrade everywhere, I think, considering the cost. Let's leave it as it is right now. I want to wait for one more carrier or freighter to come. Hopefully, we're going to earn a large enough sum to actually start the industry, like the cotton industry, and or rather not cotton, but cloth industry over here. There we go. That's the sort of money we want to see. We're exporting so much iron and cotton. Good God. And coal. Whoa. Uh, oh, we did the coffee with the English. All right. Uh, we'll do bananas with you next. Oh, we did two? Were two trade routes completed? Cigars, coal, fish. <laughs> We're finally producing shellfish, but God, that's slow. Hum. How are we on fish? We're producing fish. All right, let's do fish with the axes. There. All right, I think we're good enough on money. Let's make a steel mill. Now the iron is, or rather, the coal is coming from one direction. The iron is coming from the other direction. I think if we make a steel, well, let's make it right here. And I'm sure the red there's gonna have to be a residential area close to it, so let's do it like this. Bunkos. And like two country homes, or maybe an apartment. Emits little pollution. Emits little pollution. It's the same thing, but the apartment is actually better in every way because it's bigger. Alright, so we're gonna s have. A steel mill. We're finally gonna start producing some steel. And from that, we can start producing weapons. Or rather, we'll be able to construct a weapons factory. So the iron will be coming from over here. The coal will be coming from over here. Um, I'm hoping that it was a good idea to place it like somewhere in the middle. Alright, the apartments are done. Let's build that. One of our guards is living in the apartment. We actually increase the number of guards. Yeah, probably. We don't really have an army right now, so that would be good. Fulfill import with the allies. I mean, sure, just not yet. There we go. Almost done. Done. All right. High school education is what is required. All right. Well, we do have a high school. Required wealth broke. That's good. So everything, the high school's free. And we already do have some workers. Unemployed citizen. Really? Uneducated. Well, there's plenty of uneducated work spaces for you. Oh, it's the two that just arrived, probably, so that's why they're not located in any of the places yet. We did earn some additional money, that's good. Alright, let's get some stuff to the steel mill, guys. There we go, we got some iron. Now let's get some coal in there. Some more iron. Is that was that coal? That was coal. Ah, there we go. We're actually producing steel. Do we have the money to do? He wanted me to do not not an army base, but a weapons factory. Process steel nickel. Oh, we need nickel first. Aha! Uh -huh. Resources. Nickel. Right over there. Should we make two? Sure, let's keep that going. Let's make two. Might be a bad idea, but... It works for now. That, and uh, let's connect it via this. Excellent. I'll even put 
put like two more bunkhouses down right there. It would be a good idea probably to have a clinic in the middle of all that. Let's put a clinic right there. People do need to stay healthy. Speaking of health, let's put a clinic right there as well. The citizens oh. are demanding elections, Presidente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems that they want a choice in how they are ruled. So selfish. It's so selfish. I'm allowed them to vote, but I am too tired to talk to them. It's not a good time. I will deliver an amazing speech. All right, acknowledge an issue. Uh, we'll acknowledge the health here. Cure happiness. Praise a faction. Um, let's praise, I don't know, let's praise the communists. <laughs> we are gonna be a dictator after all. Blame superpower, sure, we'll blame the Axis if we have to. And promise improvement. Uh, in the healthcare, of course. Deliver speech. Tropico, my beloved homeland, my adoring people. With sorrow I have watched you toil, but have faith in me. El Presidente, and your troubles will soon be over. Your president oh, they're actually gathering. The cries of the like, sick. more and more people are gathering you here. there are not enough doctors to label all the illnesses. But soon, everyone will know the names of all their diseases. Our efforts are aided by our communist Oh, there are actually guards comrades. just walking about. Nice. To each according to their need... From each according to their abilities. Let's just Equality continue. Let's go speed Especially two at least while that's, ha more while that's going on. Than others. Just as we praise our friends, so we condemn that's our enemies. Like. The Axis wishes to remake the world over my mildly unsettled body. <laughs> Let us speak of the nation's health. More doctors do I hear? But that is not enough. We need better doctors working longer hours for less pay. So vote El Presidente for the future that you deserve. All of you. Viva Tropico! Viva Tropico. Alright, well, we just promised them that we'll increase healthcare. And honestly, yeah, we're working on that. We already have a clinic going over there. Uh, cotton. Wait, there was one ally trade route. They want us to do an import, right? Yeah, they want us to do an import. All right, let's do an import. Um, canned goods or cocoa. It's actually better for us, or sugar for that matter. Sure, let's do, let's do the cocoa. There. Uh, Penultimo should actually just pop up any time now and tell us just how much uh, we sh will have to increase the healthcare. Now see, this is what I don't get. This is not in line with the actual support. Now election day, it says that 41 people are opposing me, but if you click here, it says that there are only 5% opposition. Or rather, there is only 5% opposition. I'm not sure why that's... Uh, why there is a difference over there. What's that? Protest. Faith happiness. God, now they want churches too? <laughs> Let's actually do... Public services, not church. Uh, education, that's what I want. Education. We don't have a college yet, is the thing. And in order to have doctors, we do need colleges. Oh, perfect! I didn't even calculate that, and it's like high school and right next to it, college. That's good, but we're low on money, and we expect the next one to arrive in five months. Good God, please don't go broke. Okay, we got some money from somewhere. Not too sure where from, but okay. Alright, so we'll be making a college. Cotton, coffee, rubber, gold, steel. Alright, so we're actually exporting the steel now. Uh, I would much rather use that steel for the weapons factory. But that costs a lot of money. How about how much is the bus uh, garage? Like, we've had that since the very beginning of the episode and I still haven't done anything about it. Where is that actually? Entertainment? No. 
Should be under this, right? Yeah, bus, garage. Alright, so that's not... It's not that bad as far as the cost goes. Should I make the bus garage, like, right opposite of the... Sure, let's make it right opposite of the actual high school. And then you want... Wait, you want... Oh, just a bus garage. Is that really? And then bus stop. But I take it I first first need the bus garage? Because nothing's available here. But sure, alright, bus garage. I'm sure it'll actually make us connect everything now, but eh. By the way, how's... Aha, uh -huh, rate finishing in excellent. Hopefully they actually bring back like 10 th the 10,000 we wish for them to bring. Alright, so this is the first stage of the communist request. I like how they just stopped building. <laughs> uh, ticket to ride, let's see. Place starting bus stop. Um, I don't know, maybe over here? Or over here? Everybody can walk to here, right? Okay, I'll do one there. Place ending bus stop. Sure, let's make it all the way to here. All right, the it communist is, a great is happy. Day for our comrades. We even had cake to celebrate. Alas, we do not have we do not have enough cake for everyone. We must continue to grind the flour of the bur 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 bourgeois, I guess the word. With the sugar of the workers. But we thank you for greasing the banky baking trays of <laughs> equality. Uh, I'll actually take the 5,000 right now. Alright, yeah, and they're happy there, with this. I'll take the 2,000. Thank you very much. Alright, so we are getting money. Why aren't we increasing this? You would expect it to go up. It's not going up. Industry. Industry. Weapons factory? I don't even have enough money if I wanted to build that. Let's actually make a textile mill. Textile. Text. Text. Yeah. Um. It's made like a road like that, possibly connected there. Um. Let's make a little bit more of a grid over here. Perfect! Oh god, we haven't even begun doing a power plant or anything of the sort. <laughs> um, should we make that first, or should we do industry, better industry first? Hum, 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 hum. Let's do the industry first. No! Wait, did I? Ah! My mouse moved. I did not want that to be... Oh, no. My OCD is going to be triggered. <laughs> See, it says zero opposition. Uh, opposition, he says. Opposition, but it's like 48 over here. Like, why? About five months. You guys sure are all taking your sweet time to do that mission. There are no workers in the college. Do we actually have no college... Degree people. Oh, there we go. There's one. All right. Good. And I also like that you have to be that you can be broke in order to increase the efficiency. Of the building requires of electrical power. Aha. See. So yeah, electrical power is definitely going to be a thing that we will require. Wait. Uh, has it been five years yet? Can we ask for financial aid? We can ask for financial aid. There we go. So we're on thirty thousand now. I believe we can construct a power plant now and right next to the coal so that it doesn't take too much effort to transport do we make it right there or we actually can't so huh this is a living quarters even though it's surrounded by mines so the pollution there wait the pollution there has got to be terrible yeah a Stonehenge would be good over there. 
What's the situation over here? They're actually keeping it pretty clean. I think we need to heist the Stonehenge and put it right over there. But still, where it's positioned power plant, it's actually emits pollution, just pollution in general. We should actually just place it right there or something. Can I actually... I can't connect it further. Nice. Now we're gonna do it like this. Can I make the power plant right there? Excellent. I'll make the power plant right there and we, we will legit go and heist the Stonehenge and put it right over there. So it actually decreases the pollution of the area. The power plant will be nice, but after that we'll need some electric substations to actually get the power throughout the entire island. Out of coal, out of iron. Are we still exporting coal? I'm hoping not. It's nickel. Oh wait, we actually do, do have a nickel already. Oh god, why did we create additional mine? I mean, it's not bad to have additional mines. Uh, let's go resources, coal. Ooh. That ain't good. But then again... You gotta do it, you gotta do it. The crops are gonna be slightly polluted, but... We need the coal. What's the situation here? Unemployed. Really? So many vacant jobs, you're gonna find something, don't worry about it. Um, there are no requests for trade, so let's just go a random trade. I saw that we are exporting gold. What is our situation politically? The Axis kind of dislike us right now, probably because we kind of blame them for everything. <laughs> so let's go with this. Let's sign a contract for gold with the Axis. That should better our situation a little bit. Yes, it does. All right, good. Would any of these be of interest to you? It's all strictly uh, above book. No money. Your genius is undeniable, Presidente, but... Alright, so he wants me to build a chapel. He's not telling me how much I should increase our... Our, um... Healthcare happiness. I mean, we're already at 23. We were at 18. So we're definitely rising, uh, raising it up. But sure, alright. Let's build that one chapel that they want. Uh, that should be under public services. There we go. Chapel. Where to position it? You pulled it like right there. Right next to the clinic. I mean, I guess that's thematically correct, right? I don't know why I did that. It just looks nicer. We can put something in between there. And a chapel somewhere around this area would also probably be nice. Just to get that happiness. Though, you know what? No. We'll leave it as it is. The elections are in six months. Even though it says only 50% are voting for me. It does say that the opposition is zero. And the people are just undecided yet. Uh, and as such, I'm pretty sure it will actually win the elections... But yeah, I think that that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying this, like I said. Um, I'm very sorry for having to redo the entire map, but we're actually doing well. We're actually doing well, even though we had to restart. The industry is going relatively well. We still only have one fisherman, though. <laughs> I have to do something about that. Uh, at any rate, guys, I'm sure that in the next episode we'll be able to showcase a few other things. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode, and until then, as always, Ad Gloriam.